Fastman encoding and decoding and this is going to be another quick video like the other ones we're going through a revision probably you have an exam tomorrow so let's just go straight to the problem and before I go to the problem I'll just tell you one thing we use this to decrease size of files you know unnecessary file size is decreased to as much as we can with this thing called half mile encoding and decoding is basically as the, the title suggests we encode it and then we decode it encoding decreases the size and we decode it it comes back to its original size so that's how this is used now let's get straight and one thing over here I want you to ignore this part for now just ignore this part just look at over here so we have this string which is uh, you have this message C, C, D, D, E, A, B, blah, 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 and so on, up to B. And we have 20 characters over here. I don't want to call them. Probably we have 20. And these are A, C, I, I, A, S, C, I, I, I characters. And are you, as you know that they are 8-bit. Each of them is 8-bit. So 20 will give you 160 bits. Okay? And you know these numbers. You did it in this you did this in your programming language course that each rep string representation has its own integer value the smaller ones and the bigger ones and so here you can see there's all of these are capital so whatever these are basics and now we count create a table to count the frequency we need this part at least we need this part so in the above message we have five characters a b c d and e luckily so we count them and we find that we have A three times, one here, one here, and one here. B five times, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. C six times, D four times, two times. You can count them. And this is the red they appear among the twenties. Okay, so now how do we use this table? Let's go to the... <coughs> Sorry about that. Sometimes I just have this, or I don't know what to call it, whatever. So we sort it out first in ascending order. So from low to high. So E has the lowest frequency, it's 2. Don't look below. A has a frequency of 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now we are going to draw an optimized pattern from this. How do we do that? 2 and A we join them so you have 2 over here and you have 3 over here that gives you 5 again we join these 2 that gives you 11 that's a pretty big number so 5 plus 4 is 9 that's small why not And now if we add 9 and 11, we will get 20, which is exactly my size of the message. Forget this, we have this one. So now, on the left side, we will put 0. So 0, 0, and 0 over here, and then the 0 over here again. And on the right side, we will put a 1. 1, 1. One. Four zeros and four ones. And now you can ignore this and look at here in this understandable figure. Zero on left, one one on right. And please keep in mind that we will use the same thing to decode the message. We need to learn how to decode too. So I'll show you that. But first let's deal with encoding. So now we generate the code. So how do we generate the code? I'll show you. Suppose we want to generate the code for E. E, okay. So we start from above. Zero. And then we go to left. Zero, zero. So three zeros. This is the path for E. This is E. So zero, zero, and zero. We want to do it for A start from here 0 ok 0 again but 1 again so 0 0 1 
this is the path for A. Now let me choose another color so that you understand properly. Now we'll find D. So we have zero. No, we don't have zero. Yeah, we have zero. Zero and D is over here. So zero one. Zero one. B. Now we won't go on the left side. We have to go on the right side. So one and zero. And you can guess the last one. It will be one one. That's exactly what we did over here in the reverse order. So now that we're done, we can use this same code to message. Uh, sorry, to encode the message. So the beginning of the message was something like C C D D E A, and so we can use those C B C C B D E. I have made up a combination in between and this is how you can join them and together so what's the benefit of doing this when you had the normal encoding you had 160 bits now let's see if we can decrease it here we have only 3 bits so 3 and it appears 3 times so it's 9 similarly 5 appears uh, 2 appears 5 times so it's 10 and in this way we have this summations and totally if we add them all we get 45 fine and then all of them just one instance creates 12 because we need this table as well we need to make the computer understand that this is according to this so 40 over here 12 over here and 45 over here now why 40 because you have five characters and each of them is eight this part you know for this part we need 40 bits and this is the combination of this and this message the original message will have this encoded part if we add all of them together we get 97 which is much better than 160 you see which is much better than 160 so now we will do decoding and i'll show you how to do decoding suppose you will still have this table and so you know some codes you have zero zero that's one zero and you have maybe one one zero cool how do we deal with this so how many zeros are there okay we have a zero over here we have a zero over here but if I start from here can I get another zero no I cannot that means this zero is not it so we have to start from here so I can get this combination easily zero 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 and when I reverse it I know oh so it was E and then you have one one zero so there are three one but if I start from here I get a zero if I start from here I also get a zero so I cannot start from these two I have to start from here and then only then I will end up getting sorry not one one zero one one only one one zero doesn't exist so one one yeah, that's how I know that this is the only combination that is possible and then I can figure out oh so it's C this is how we will decode the same thing and it's not decode doesn't appear I'll just showed you that we can use the same table to decode it so that's all and until next video happy surviving hope, hope you benefited at least even if one person happy